Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. Uh, Tuesday morning. <laughs> I got it right in the first try. It's about 8.25. I'm on my way to my first meeting, which is in two and a half hours. I will get there roughly on time, which is surprising because I did not want to get out of bed this morning. It was very cozy. Why? Because it is a brisk 39 degrees, which for here is like ice age. So I got a full two days of driving around. Only two days though, I'll be back tomorrow. So I spent a good deal of yesterday redoing all of my routes and mapping them out and you know doing all the timing and figuring out this, that, and the other thing, with hotels included and all that shit. I even went back and redid some of the maps that I had that were already correct because I did them in a, in a stupid way. So that's all done now, sort of because this is still very fluid and I still have to drive these routes a couple of times to get used to them and see the reality of stuff. So it's uh, gonna be overcast, probably and shitty the entire time, probably for the rest of the of this year and the next a couple of months after that, as far as I can tell. If it goes anything like it usually does here, winter is just overcast rain. Not a lot of snow, knock on wood, let's hope, but tis what it is. All right, let's get this trip going. Okay, kids, so I'm done with my meetings. Four down, now I have, uh, I gotta turn up the heat. It's getting cold out again. Uh, I've got a, a little bit over an hour of a drive to get to my hotel. It's almost exactly four o'clock now, so I'll probably be driving in the dark. You know, my favorite thing to do, which as I've said before, is par for the course this time of year. So tomorrow is going to be a big day. I've got one, two, three, really? One, two, three, four. Oh, I only got four meetings tomorrow. I thought I had more than that, but yeah. So I, I've got four meetings, but I'll be done by noon-ish. And then I will make myself stop and have a lunch. And then I will have eh, like a three, three and a half hour drive home, give or take, whatever, doesn't matter. Sorry, uh, the sun is like directly behind me. If I move my head out of the way, then it blows out the screen. Yankee Cowboys favorite about my videos, blown out footage. Now that is a good segue into the next thing. And it's funny that Yankee Cowboy and I were discussing this the other day, and I just watched Camera Conspiracy's video that this, what is this? This number one filmmaking rule is ruining your video. And his point is that Having to follow that 180 degree rule is bullshit. That was for film, it was for old stuff, the technology today, it's fine to not follow that rule. So you should be controlling your aperture so that as he puts it, you can get the tone that you want and just let the camera do everything else automatically and, and figure out what the shutter speed should be and the ISO and all that shit. And that's what I'm doing right now. So I went through and Although I'm in the video mode that I usually do manual, I've decided that I'm not gonna do that anymore because this is just a shitty vlog. <laughs> so I am now, I put everything into auto. So it's doing, other than the aperture, everything else is automatic. The camera's figuring out what it needs to be so that it's exposed correctly and I don't give a shit about shutter speed and, or that shutter angle crap anymore because it's just a pain in the ass and it's why a lot of times when I go out because I haven't put ND filters on any of this new lens, any of the new lenses that I got. So that's why I'm exposed correctly, but the sky's all blown out and my hair's bugging the shit out of me. So going forward, everything is just gonna be on auto. And I know that that is really gonna stick in people's craws because they're like, you know, you went out and bought all this expensive gear and you're just putting it auto. I'm green boxing. My favorite thing, a green box photographer, if you don't know what that means, is that like the old DSLRs, the old cameras, they had a green box selector. If you moved the selector to the green box, that meant that the camera did everything. All you were doing was pushing down the shutter button to take the picture. The camera was doing everything else. So you didn't have to know the 180 degree rule you didn't have to know proper exposure proper anything you just had to push a button so these people were going out and buying you know like four thousand dollar canon 
uh, what was it, the, the 5Ds, 5D Mark IIs, and then two or $3,000 70 to 200 lenses, and they were putting it on the green box. It's like, why didn't you just get a fucking point and shoot then at that point? So that used to bother me. Now, as I get older and wiser and more I don't give a shit, I'm kind of moving to that as far as filming goes because it is a pain in the ass to constantly be switching my aperture and my, you know, trying to keep my shutter speed at where it's supposed to be and changing the freaking ISO and da 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 da. So much dust on that fucking thing. So I have decided that I'm just no longer gonna give a shit about that. I'm not gonna be a pixel peeper. Uh, I'm not gonna be like, oh, you should have this mist lens on there to blah, 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 but it's gotta be super sharp too. And then, fuck that. It's just gonna be me blathering. How about that? So nothing too exciting today. I mean, is it ever exciting? But it's definitely not gonna be exciting today because I've literally just been driving from meeting to meeting. Gotta be the same thing tomorrow, at least until noon when I go and have lunch somewhere and then drive home. But all right, on to the hotel. All right, kids, it's the end of a long day and meaning I'm gonna now chode in the hotel room. Tis 8.15, I just got back from dinner. There is actually a really wonderful Italian restaurant that's right next door to the lot of the hotel. And I thought to myself, I don't feel like driving all over Timbuktu trying to find some place to eat. I'll just go there. So I went and had their Italian grilled chicken and it was basically chicken and it had uh, like peppers, onions, mushrooms, cheese. I'm not gonna get away from that. I'm just not gonna have as much as I used to. And, and then a shit ton of like steamed vegetables, which I ate a lot of. And, and it had mashed potatoes as well. Plus I got a garden salad with oil and vinegar in it. And it was delicious. So I'm pretty much done for tonight. I, I mean, I don't even know why I bother bringing the damn computer with me because I'm never going to do anything in the hotel room. I might answer a couple of emails just because, and then I'm just going to go chode on the bed watching either something about Bigfoot. I hate those Bigfoot shows because you know damn well they're never going to find anything and they're just all staged crap and I don't like that. So I'll probably just put the forensic stuff on the background and then watch YouTube videos. But I just sort of wanted to check in for tonight and be done. So that's it. Uh, we'll pick this back up tomorrow morning. Four meetings. I'll be done by noon. I'll have lunch and then I'm going to head back to the beach. So see you all tomorrow. Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It is Wednesday morning, about 10 to 9, less than a five mile drive to my first meeting. See how I do that? I always try to stay as close to where my first meeting is for the next day. I think I nailed it. So, anywho, it's freaking cold here it's 34 degrees and yeah i know some of you people are like, oh that's not cold yeah it's cold for around here freaking cold and i did not bring any civilian wear i just have my sport coat so i don't have a jacket or anything relatively warm and i never remembered that oh that's right i'm not going to be sitting in my forerunner the whole time i actually have to maybe go outside and do shit, especially at the end of the day after the meetings are done. So I'm gonna have to remember that. Chances are I won't and I'll just be cold. Anywho, it's, I mean, it's early, but it's kind of overcast and hazy. The sun's trying to burn its way through, but don't know if it's gonna or not. I didn't sleep as horribly as I thought I would, although I stayed up kind of late as usual. And I am gonna be hurting probably because I was going to get up, I mean, my schedule my first meeting for nine. And I thought that gives me more than enough time since I'm used to getting up before that and leaving by eight. So, I mean, in theory, I could have went somewhere and had breakfast, but I was thinking more along the lines, I could have at least stopped at Starbucks and gotten some caffeine. I totally did not leave myself enough time to do that. By the time I, I got done, you know, checking out the internets this morning and packing up and all that kind of shit, I gave myself enough time to get to my first meeting. So we'll see how it goes. I know that there are several Starbucks around the area and I'll just have to map it out and, and go to one so that I have something because I don't think I want to wait until after noon to have my first bit of sustenance. Yeah, and that's it. So my 
last meeting is, is, is at 12 noon. So yeah, it's gonna kind of suck. So I'm gonna have to make a point to stop somewhere. So, all right, you know how this is when I start first thing in the morning, I'm like, blah, blah, blah. so enough. Let's go to the first meeting. Good morning, all. All right, it's Thursday morning. I am back in Virginia Beach, but I am going out for a work function. Actually, my old boss is in town covering my old territory. So I'm gonna go meet him for breakfast right now. And so it's like 8.35, I'm gonna go meet him in his hotel and we'll go grab breakfast and then I'll get into my day. I have a lot of like little things that I have to have to do to catch up with because I don't do it when I'm on the road. It's been raining since I got home, la well, I guess not since I got home, but like late last night, it started raining and it, it's just been doing it. And I guess it's supposed to be like this all day. If nothing else, you know how this works, it'll keep me inside so that I'll actually sit there and do my day job work. Cause if it were nice and sunny, <laughs> I can tell you right now, I would not be sitting inside doing it. Nothing exciting today. Well, I mean, there's really not all that much exciting every day, but yeah, all right, that's enough. I need to go eat, I need coffee. Okay, the monkeys had food and coffee. So I'm feeling much better and ready to hit the day. Okay, that's it. We're gonna go do some errands and then I'll show you the new setup at home. Huh? Huh? Hey kids, just wanted to show you uh, what I alluded to earlier, but I got myself another monitor arm, but this one I got, it's like half the size. It's only a 16 inch instead of like a 31.5. And that was for the overhead. So I thought to myself, hmm, I'm always taking pictures at this little table here that's like right next to my office setup. And since I'm always doing that anyways, I thought it might be a good idea to take one of the cameras that I have sitting around doing nothing with, which is the ZV-E10. Still sometimes contemplate whether or not I want to sell this stupid thing. And then I talk to a buddy who's trying to sell stuff online and he's telling me all the horror stories and I'm just like, whatever. So normally it's just sitting in my humidity controlled cabinet. But this time I thought, well, you know what? I threw the 11 millimeter lens on there and I decided that I would just use that as my overhead camera. And if I ever do any like unboxings and all that kind of stuff. So as you can see, you know, there's still plenty of room. Now there's not a lot of room up here. So I, if I have a really big box, I won't be able to use this that well, but how often do I do that? But sometimes I might wanna show you something down here and you know, I mean, whatever, I've got it. I might as well use it. Here we go. I'm, I'm ready for overhead shit again, since you know, I do that all the time. <laughs> all right, so I had another long, busy day. It has continued to piss rain all day, which I knew was gonna happen. So after I left there, I actually went and picked up milk and lunch for us today and came home. She did her lunch, left, and then I came up here and I sat here for like over an hour, almost two hours, trying to get myself to do what I needed to do. <laughs> I just didn't wanna do it. Tomorrow, I just have housekeeping type stuff. So expense report, uh, cleaning my things up, and I gotta get on uh, some other shit that I just haven't done since I started, and I'm gonna start getting in trouble for that. So I'm gonna do all that tomorrow, um, and that's that. I haven't even looked at the, at the weather to see if it's supposed to be shitty again tomorrow. I think it is, I don't know. Doesn't matter, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. All right, that's sort of my week in a nutshell. I gave you a lot of stuff because I just didn't have it in me after all the driving I did. And you know how I am about going in hotels and, and their Wi-Fi being shit. So that's why I threw this video together. And I'm really condensing it down and not giving you a lot of the stuff, especially a lot of the in the forerunner boring stuff. So I'll, I'll try to tailor that and make it a little bit more exciting. There's not a lot you can do though when it's crap out, you know? How much footage can I show you in a time lapse of rain, you know, before you're just like, whatever. So that's it. That's all you get for this week up until now, which is Thursday evening at almost 6 p.m. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.